Hi everyone. In this video, I will explain you how to solve a question, a problem on uh, root locus synthesis, how to design a controller for a given system using the root locus method. A system is provided for us as one over s squared plus four s plus three, and we need to satisfy three requirements on the steady state, error settling time, and uh, overshoot. So let's start by the first requirement. Uh, but first of all, we need to draw the root locus for this system. GP is given as 1 over s squared plus 4 s plus 3, or it could be rewritten as in a 1 over s plus 3 times s plus 1. It's quite straightforward to draw root locus for this. I will focus on the positive locus. The system has one pole at minus one, one pole at minus three. So the order of the system is n. There is no zeros. There will be two asymptotes, and the asymptote will have pi over two and three pi over two angles. And the point of abscissa will be between these two poles minus two. There will be a breakaway point at minus two, and indeed this will be the final root locus for the system. So I, I don't go into the details of how to, the draw the, how to draw the root locus. It's quite straightforward, and you can refer to some other videos if you need. So now let's see what we have in terms of the requirements. We need to have a steady state error for the unit step reference is smaller than 0 0.1. We need to have a steady state error smaller than 0 0.1 but since we are dealing with a type 0 system since there is no pole at the origin for this system we have a type 0 system and for such a system we have a steady state error for the step reference equal to 1 over 1 plus kp where kp is equal to limit of l of s as s goes towards 0 and if we assume that we are going to use a proportional controller as k, we will have L of s given as k over s plus 3 times s plus 1. And from here, we can see that kp will be equal to k over 3. Since we need to have steady state error is smaller than 0 0.1, we need to have 1 over 1 plus kp is smaller than 1 over 10. Or from here, we see that kp should be bigger than 9 to satisfy the requirement on the steady state error. And, and this implies that we need to have k bigger than 27 to satisfy the requirement on the steady state error. So we can pick a value for k, like k equal to 30, to satisfy the steady state error requirement. But let's see what do we have for the other requirements. We need to have settling time equal to one second and overshoot equal to 4.32 percent or zeta equal to square root of 2 over 2. So we have 2 percent settling time equal to 1, which we use usually 4 over zeta omega n. And from here, we have zeta omega n equal to 4. And we have zeta equal to square root of 2 over 2. So if I want to have, yeah, let's determine the desired location for the poles and zeros, for, for the dominant poles of the system. We have one pole at minus one, one pole at minus three. And according to what we have here, the desired poles of the closed loop system will have real value of minus four. And since theta is equal to square root of two over two, which corresponds to the value of theta equal to 45 degrees, we will have the desired location for the closed loop poles of the system at minus 4 plus minus j4. So the theta that I was talking about is indeed this, this angle. So this is what we have for the root locus of the system. And obviously for no values of k, we will have the, the closed loop poles of the system at this location. So this means that we need to 
uh, employ a compensator to satisfy that requirement. And usually to, to change the root locus of the system, we use the, the lead compensator. So this is what we have for the lead compensator, k over s plus cc over s plus pc, for which we need to determine the value for zc and for pc, location of the pole and zero, and also the gain of the controller. Assuming that we introduce the zero and pole of the controller at minus cc and minus pc, as you can see here, to have the dominant poles of the system at this location, we need to apply the phase condition. If we apply the phase condition for that point, for the test point, then we can determine the location for the poles and zeros of the controller. So I call this theta one, theta two, phi c and theta c. According to the angle criteria, The angle of n over d should be equal to angle of minus 1 over rho, and here rho is equal to k for our case, so we will have minus 1 over k, and since k is a positive value, we are dealing with the positive locus, we will have minus 180 degrees here. To find the angle of n over d at the test point at s star, we will have phi c minus theta c plus theta 1 plus theta 2 equal to minus 180. Or in other terms, we can say phi c minus theta c minus theta 1 plus theta 2 equal to minus 180. And this is indeed the amount of the phase that we need to provide to introduce the system in order to have the branches passing through that test point. We can find the value for theta 1, theta 2, uh, and then determine the value for, choose some values for phi c and then determine the value for theta c. But there's some trivial solution here indeed. If I select the pole of the controller, the, the zero of the controller to be the same as the one of the poles of the system, let's say minus C, minus three, then it would be much easier to determine the location for the pole of the controller as well. So I will assume that the ZC is equal to three. Therefore, GC of S will be equal to K times s plus 3 over s plus pc and now if i redraw the the root locus for the system having a pole at minus 1 pole at minus 3 is 0 here and i need to determine the location for the pole of the controller but now since the 0 cancels the effect of the pole I will have two poles, and for these two poles, I need to have the branches crossing these points. Yeah? And since I have only two poles remaining, the order of the system will be equal to 3, m is now n is equal to 3, m is equal to 1, and r is equal to 2. So there will be two asymptotes with the angle of pi over 2 and minus pi over 2, and I would like to have the asymptotes at this point. To have such situations, I need to place the pole of the controller. So here we have minus four. I need to place the pole of the controller here at minus seven. Because I, if I place it over there, without doing any calculations, I'm expecting to have this kind of root locus for my system. And obviously it passes through this minus four plus J four point. So I have found the location for the pole at 7. Therefore, GC of S is equal to K times S plus 3 over S plus 7. Now we need to find out the value for K, and that could be obtained by using the amplitude criterion. For the amplitude condition, we need to find out the distance between the pole and zeros with the test point S star here. So the amplitude condition is amplitude of n over d at S star should be equal to amplitude of one over rho 
or in our case it's equal to amplitude of 1 over k. Amplitude of n over d could be obtained by multiplying the distances between the poles and zeros and the test point. So I have here, I call this a, a1, a2, a3. We know the distance here is equal to 3, 3, and here we have 4. For n, we will have a2 because it's the distance between the 0 and the test point. We will have a1, a2, a3. a2 will be cancelled and we will have a1 and a3 are indeed the same. We have a1 equal to a3 and it's equal to the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared or 9 plus 16 which is 25. As a result a1 is equal to a3 it's equal to 25. Or, or five. Therefore, we will have amplitude of n over d at the test point equal to one over twenty-five, which is equal to one over k, or k will be equal to twenty-five. Now we have l of s in the form of twenty-five times s plus. 3 over s plus 7 times 1 over s plus 3 times s plus 1 for which we can determine the value for steady state error as 1 over 1 plus kp since we have uh, a type 0 system and now kp is given as 25 over 7 so steady state error will be equal to 1 over 1 plus 25 over 7 or it will be equal to 7 over 32 and 7 over uh, 32 would be equal to so it's we need to have a steady state error smaller than 0 0.1 and we can find the value for 7 over 32. Let me just provide the exact value, just a moment. 7 over 32, which is 0 0.20, almost 0 0.22. And we can see that the steady state requirement is not satisfied. So to satisfy it, we can introduce another part of the compensator or lag compensator. And our lag compensator, GC1 I call it, will have the form of S plus CC or S plus PC. And we can see that KP will be improved by the factor of ZC over PC. Let's see how, how can we determine the value for the ZC and PC. So the steady state error, the current steady state error that we have is equal to 0 0.22 for kp equal to 25 over 7. Let's see what is the required kp that we need. We need to have 1 over 1 plus kp smaller than 0 0.1. Therefore, we need to have Kp, again, bigger than 9. Yep. Let's say Kp, we, we take Kp equal to 10 as the new Kp. And we have old Kp equal to 25 over 7. So Kp old is 25 over 7. And Kp new is equal to 10 and we know that old kp kp old and kp new are related uh, and if we have kp new is equal to kp old times zc over pc and from here we can find zc over pc because this is the effect of the lag compensator yeah? equal to kp new over kp old 
kp nu is 10, kp old is 25 over 7. So we will have 70 over 25, and it's again 70 over 25, it's 2.8. So zc over pc is equal to 2.8. And since it's a lag compensator, we need to have pc close to the zero. Let's say pc is equal to 0 0.01. And from there, ZC will be determined as 2.8 times PC. And we will have ZC equal to 0 0.028. Now we have the overall co compensator GCLS given as uh, given as what we have here, 25 times s plus 3 over s plus 7, 25 s plus 3 s plus 7 times s plus cc over s plus pc 0 0.01. And that's all in terms of the design of the controller. Now we need to double check. Uh, using MATLAB, indeed, you can try to see whether all the requirements are satisfied or not. We are somehow confident about the steady state error, but we need to double check the setting time. If you find out the setting time is the requirement on the setting time is not satisfied, you may try to redesign the length part by moving the uh, pole further from the origin to improve the setting time. All right, so that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any kind of question or any feedback uh, regarding this video or any other video that we, I have in my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.